runs all. And you can see it's doing very well. So we can stop. Now today, I, I would like to make silage. I'm calling it table silage. Table in the sense that I'm making it on very small containers. I, I know that many people are used to seeing silage made in the field. Okay, in a very big banger. It is about 100, uh, 100 tons. It's a lot of silage for, for us. So the same lorry will have to come several times uh, to ferry all this. But today, we would like uh, in uh, this container. Here we shall put uh, nebia grass without any additives. Here we shall add uh, unga, which is uh, some flour from maize. Here we can add table sugar. This one we can add another form of sugar. It could be molasses. And another one we can add honey. We can call it honey silage. We will be able to see the results afterwards. So can we dive? So you make sure that you transfer here and come back. The machine. the machine has a lot of uh, small particles. And if you are not careful, it will go into your nose, your eyes. So that's why you have to use the mask. But um, yeah, when you are not near the machine, the mask can stay here beside. Now you are feeling compaction is very important in silage making. Compaction. Make sure that you compact. Ow! Yes. Compaction is very important when you are doing silage. It requires a lot of strength. When it's a big punk, use a tractor. When it is a small banker, you can use people and you can see in the other side. When it is a small container like this, then you need strong hands like this man. Then you will compress. Compaction is only possible if you chop it, uh, the particles to be small. Particles should be about 8 millimeters in length. A particle like this one. A particle like this, like this, is eight millimeters or slightly more. Okay? So, when the particles are small, the compaction is effective. That means there is no oxygen or air that is left behind. Okay? There will be very little. All right? But if the particles are big, okay, then compaction becomes complicated. You are not able to to expel all the air from 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 the from your silo. Okay. In this case, I'm calling this one a silo. A silo is a container compartment where you keep your silage. It could be a hole for some people. Dig a hole. Some people make a trench. Some people use a drum. Some people use a a, a packet. Some people use a tin. Bags. Bags. Yeah. So these are the silage bags. With all that we can call it a silo. It's a place where you keep your silage. For in this case, because we are at, we are in in a very small situation where we're calling it sep farm lab. We're in the lab. So in the lab, we are using uh, a small container, a packet, a small packet. And then also you realize that this packet is transparent. So we will have to cover it with some black polythene material. Because silage is normally affected by UV light. UV light makes your protein uh, 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 decomposition. So we don't want that. We will cover it with black polythene. Because what we are trying to encourage here is, I mean, anaerobic, uh, fermentation. Fermentation without oxygen. And we will cover with this and make sure that it is airtight. No air going in. Down here. Don't waste. Whenever you're making silage, don't waste. Make sure that everything is in the container or in the banger, in the silo. So you can see we have already collected almost twice this thing and it's not yet full. That makes, that shows that compaction here is quite effective. Mind you, this uh, material, we have added, this is purely nebia grass. We have added nothing. 
nothing, no additive. We will only uh, cover it, okay? And then we will check later on the quality of the silage from Pakyong grass. This is Pakyong grass, which is three months old. Tender, very soft, very nice to the cow, and also um, quite green, full of chlorophyll, which means in protein content is quite high. Also, it has plenty of water-soluble um, sugars. Okay? And those water-soluble sugars are very important for fermentation. You can see it is full. It is full. Full, completely full. We'll cover it with a packet. And it's very hard. There we are. Another form of silage with additives. So here we have the material, the nebia grass, which is chopped again. So before we compact, we have to mix it with a certain amount of uh, maize flour, okay, starch, so that we see the fermentation process, the quality of the silage that will come out of there. So given that this thing is uh, two kilo, we will add about 20% of, of the maize, uh, maize flour. Then we see how it will. So we'll add enough so that when we are compacting, at least we have enough material. Okay, two of this, but not so full. Then now we have some unga. So this is unga, this is, this is, this is maize flour there. So we spread it like this while we are mixing. And we are mixing like this with a bit of water to make sure that the unga is, is, is complete. Labia grass as the main material to be con conserved, to be ensiled. Ensiling means making silage, changing the raw material into silage, ensiling. That is the meaning of ensiling. So this is uh, the one with the uh, maize flour, and it is well compacted. Okay, so we can cover it very carefully. We will make sure. Now, we would like to. Add another additive, form of uh, sugar, water-soluble sugar, and that is a table sugar, which is from uh, sugar cane. I think if I use this, you will be uh, sure that this is sugar, table sugar. Okay, the sugar we use for our tea or coffee. So this is real sugar. Okay, very nice. Okay. We will add this sugar into Nebia. We are feeding cows with sugar. Sugar is from sugar cane. If you release animals to sugar cane, feel they will eat the sugar cane. So this is refined sugar, processed sugar. It is sucrose. water soluble sugar from table sugar which is sucrose this other one was starch starch we will see the results of all this we will be able to advise on which method is the best for silage making when you're making grass silage what additives do you need to add? Miss? So, uh, this is plain nebia. Plain. There is no additive. Okay? 
So we write like that and we put it inside here. Okay. This is unga or maize flour and navia grass. Okay. So we write it like that and we label uh, we label it and we put it inside here. used already maize flour and other things so in this case we want to try out molasses so we are making molasses navia grass silage and molasses is in this container this one this is molasses all right, all right so now we mix this is this is this is fresh navia fresh navia chopped molasses okay plus some little water Good. This is molasses and then we mix it like this. Nice molasses, nice molasses. Mm, it's sugary, it's like sugar. You know molasses is made from sugar again. It is a byproduct of sugar processing. So it's not something bad. Molasses is good. It has a lot of uh, sucrose. Some people call it brown sugar. Look at how it looks like. So now we add in. Okay. This is called sep lap. Sep lap. Sep farm lab. We are in the laboratory of Sep farm. That is why we are making things in a very small. Okay. Now, when the when the when the material is hot, is 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 wet, it is important for good fermentation. It's important to add more of the substrate, which is molasses. More of the sweetener, because it looks like. This fermentation bacteria likes things to do with sugar. So we are adding a bit of molasses because the material is a bit wet. Okay? It's uh, DM is about, the trimatter content is about 30%. That means it's a bit uh, wet, but it is okay. It will ferment very well. Now, this is molasses. We have already mixed. Now we would like molasses plus navia grass silage. So we leave it for, give it some time, some good time. And then we'll... In case, we would like to add honey. Honey from bees. This is honey. This is honey. This is the honey that we can eat with bread. Okay? This is honey with bread. Okay? <laughs> Very nice honey. Very nice honey and bread. In this case, we will take navia grass and we mix it with honey. So this is honey. This is a, a container for, for navia grass. So we add a bit of water like this. And then this is the honey now. It is sweetener. So we want to sweeten this navia grass and, and see whether honey can, whether the, the honey can lead to fermentation okay this is honey very little water very little. nice eh? yes now we sprinkle here on the navia grass this is a honey being a substrate it's for people okay let's try out then we'll see the results so you'll have to keep on waiting and seeing, then we'll see, does honey support fermentation in silage? That is what we want to show, try and see and show. I know honey is a very expensive product. Let's try out and then see what happens. Okay, in three weeks time, to four weeks, to six weeks. Okay, now we are going to chop this cabbage into small tiny pieces, especially the inner part, which is very sugary, 30%. So 30% of cabbage. Okay. We're not adding a lot. It's not going to be too much. Maybe maybe thirty percent. To tell the cows will tell us whether it works well in their stomachs or not. We will give it to some few cows, then see what happens. But we have been feeding cabbages. Always uh, our cows get something like uh, three cabbages a day, and uh, we have never seen any negative effect from that. So let's see. Can also the same cabbage uh, influence fermentation? It's already full. This is cabbage plus navia grass. But we are dropping it so that we can make the navia grass proof. 
the fermentation process in navia grass. Sometimes we use starch, sometimes we use other things. But now, for now, we are using potato fines. So here, these are the potato fines, and we have already chopped with the with the with the with the okay chopped. Now we would like to see what is the value or the quality of the silage from Nevia if we mix it with some potato fines. But we'll also make uh, silage from potato fines alone and then we'll see the difference. Adding and then see whether the quality will improve.